So today I've got one of those days where literally I will be nine hours online and in between I have these moments, these pockets of time. Now I obviously am to blame so I am responsible for my own agenda. As most of us are in life you know it is about that responsibility of saying well you know I created that particular schedule for myself but then it's about well on days like today what if you don't feel like it what if something you want to do something else what if you think oh nine hours well if I start my day with that mentality it's not going to help me get through the day so this morning I knew that today was going to be one of those days where I have pockets of time I knew that I just have to get on with it. So that acceptance was just to get up with joy, with gratitude, get into my first session this morning. We had the most amazing session. I've got a new group and they are amazing ladies. And then I ran to have a little break, my coffee, go to the supermarket. And now I'm just on my way home to go into the next session. So. Sometimes acceptance is key and acceptance helps us change the whole emotional state of the circumstances around us. Now recently they have been studying resilience. What is it? And the Dana Institute in particular in 2019 have been conducting studies to find out is resilience something that is inbuilt or something that we develop? And the studies have been quite interesting because apparently the amygdala plays a key role in resilience. Now, in fact, the neuroscientists encourage us to accept change because that is how, as humans, we have evolved through survival, uh, through uh, circumstances that have changed the way that we live. And it really is about how to get the brain to accept change, to move away from the habits and the routines and the comfort zone that we are all used to. So when we have external circumstances that are forcing us to change, how can we then move into accepting them, adapting and bringing out the best of those forced change circumstances? And it seems that resilient individuals have the capacity to isolate from emotional reactions. So there is a difference in the way that the amygdala is reacting to external circumstances or change or problems, etc. And from these studies, they're now concluding that it's not so much about understanding the causes and the problems behind change, but it's about building up the strategies to help people deal with change and really enforce resilience. And that's exactly what this blog is about today. What are you going to do to build up that resilience to whatever may be coming over the next few weeks, the next few months? How can you become proactive so that we're not all reacting to that external circumstance, that something that's being forced on us, but we can proactively go in it saying, right, if this is the case, this is what I'm going to do in those circumstances. Love to hear from you today to see what your thoughts are about this and what are you going to do to be proactive? What do you think about acceptance, inaction, and resilience? As a final quote for you to think about, 
from Neil Donald Walsh. When everything changes, change everything. Thank mm-hmm. you.